In this video, we're gonna show you how to pair an Opticon OPN 2002 Bluetooth scanner with an Android device, specifically a Google Pixel 2 phone. So this scanner is great. It's about the size of a nine volt battery. I've got some Velcro on the back, which I simply attach to the back of my phone, and then I can operate it with one hand. There's no screen. It's fairly simple to use. There's simply two buttons. One is the uh, laser button, and that'll simply scan whatever you want when you press it down. The second is the function button. You'll use that to turn the scanner on and off. Now, before you connect this to a new device, it's always a good idea to reset the device, and we can do that by pressing and holding the function button for about 15 to 20 seconds. The Bluetooth will pop up. You'll see the blue light flashing. Continue to hold that function button for another five to 10 seconds until it beeps again and resets. So now we're, we're back to factory settings. If someone had, had messed with this somehow, it theoretically should be reset and off we go. So you can download these setup sheets. They're free. There'll be a link in the notes below. Try to make it really simple so you don't have to go Google a ton of different documentation. F simply follow the steps. Step one was reset the device. Step two is turn on the keyboard mode and there's a barcode there. Simply scan that. It'll beep to say, yep, we've turned on keyboard mode. We're gonna, then gonna make it Bluetooth discoverable. You'll hear it beep and flash. Now, if you didn't have that barcode, no big deal. You can simply press and hold the small button. Now in our phone, we're gonna go over to Bluetooth settings, say more settings, and there's an option there to pair a new device. We're gonna tap on that, give it a couple seconds, and the OPN 2002 should pop up. Simply tap on that, and it's gonna give us a code here. So the 2002s give you a code. Most of the other scanners don't. That's why it's important to have this sheet. And the barcode is always on. You can see it at the top. So you're gonna to wanna to come from the side of the sheet and scan that code. So six, two, zero, five, nine, two. And then we're gonna say end and then wait a second and we're paired. So we're good to go. Now at this point, whatever you scan with this barcode scanner will get transferred over to your phone. It should work with any app, any web browser. It's simply an external keyboard. So what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna scan a book's barcode, for example, and it will simply enter it. Now you did hear it beep after I scanned. So every time you scan, it'll have a beep and that's kind of the factory settings. Fortunately on the sticker sheet here or the barcode sheet, there is a beep off. We can scan that, and now when we scan the book again, you won't hear the beeping. So that's nice if you wanna be a little bit more discreet while scanning. And uh, one other thing to do with this, the first time you pair it with your phone, it's not gonna give you the option to pull up um, what's called a virtual keyboard, but when you pair a scanner with Android devices, it's gonna be paired as an external scanner. So what we wanna do is we wanna go in, we wanna turn off any aftermarket scanners, and what we do on an um, Android device we're simply gonna disconnect this, so hit the X. Now we're gonna reconnect it. And Google's smart enough that it, it'll recognize it as an external keyboard and ask us if we wanna, um, we're, so it'll give you an option to configure the physical keyboard. I'd already turned this off, but there's an option here to show virtual keyboard. What that does is if we go into our web browser or most any other app, it'll actually bring up your regular keyboard. It's not a problem. You can simply go in and scan a book and off you go. However, if you're trying to go quickly and you don't want this keyboard to keep popping up, simply tap the icon in the lower corner where it says show virtual keyboard. We're gonna turn that off. And now when we tap back in the text box, it won't pop up. So that's how to get rid of it. That'll make it super easy and it won't try and um, fight with the other keyboard that's there. And then when you go to scan books, you can simply scan them quickly into your app of choice and that's how to use it. So to turn this off, one, you can go back to your Bluetooth settings and simply disconnect it. However, the scanner will still stay on for a while and it can drain the battery. So a better way to disconnect this is press and hold the small button for a couple seconds until you hear it beep. And it'll beep, it'll kind of go just like you heard it. And that means it's disconnected and you can set this aside. Don't lose it again, it's very small. And when you go to reconnect it, you shouldn't need the, the barcode sheet, but it's always a good idea to have that with you just in case you need the code again. But when you go to reconnect it, simply press and hold the small button, go back to your settings. It should have remembered that it's there and that's how to use the Opticon 2002.